What's going on everybody? I'm Cigar Show Tim and you're watching this edition of Tobacco Talk, where every week I review a cigar and then I give you my thoughts on it. Flavor, draw, construction, burn, everything you want to know about that cigar, but it's from my palate's perspective. And then I rate it as to whether I think it's nub worthy or not. Well, based on the hat and the title, I'm going to be reviewing a cigar that comes from uh, Corona Cigar Company, Jeff Borschwitz, with FSG tobacco in it. So this week's cigar, I uh, happened to pick up uh, and get from my good friend, cigar prop, Kevin Shahan. And it is uh, one of three new releases that Jeff Borschwitz has put out as part of his 25th anniversary celebration for Corona Cigar Company. So the review right now is going to be on the Corona Cigar Company 25th anniversary shade. This is the Robusto size. That's the cigar right there. You can see the 25th anniversary band right there on it. But let's see how it is, because I'm a mild cigar smoker, mild plus to a medium plus. This is a shade wrapper. I'll get more into the blend in just a couple minutes here, but we got to see what it's all about. So, you know, there's only one thing left to do. Let's light it up. All right, so I went ahead and gave the cigar a nice straight cut on it, and uh, let's get some cold draw, cold draw notes on it. Ooh, like a caramel honey sweetness. A really light bready note. And just creaminess. Caramel honey, bready, smooth, creamy. Let's toast her up. Okay, upon initial light up, got a little bit of like a, a tangy flavor note in my mouth. And that's going to be caused by the, the, the blend on this is it's an Ecuadorian shade wrapper. It's an FSG Corojo binder and then Nicaraguan fillers. But there's that Corojo tang and the binder that I'm picking up with some real light breadiness and creaminess. Maybe a little bit of like a light hay, light hay note on there. All right, I'm gonna travel down the road of a 25th anniversary. Let's see how the first third goes. Okay, here's where the burn is at the end of the first third. It is near razor straight, doing really, really well. So a little bit of backstory on this one. Jeff Borschwitz uh, approached J.C. Newman and uh, talked with Omar Ortiz, who is the master blender for J.C. Newman, and said, I want to come out with three different ways to express my 25 years as uh, Corona Cigar Company. And so talking together, they said, let's come out with three different ones. They've got this Ecuadorian shade, they've got a spicy Habano, and then they've got a Maduro. And so those are the three different wrappers that are on the cigar. Again, it's got the FSG Corojo binder and the Nicaraguan fillers on it. And the flavor notes in the first third, creamy, buttery, a little bit of a light, light cedar wood that's in there, but it's like a butter cracker with some really good creaminess. A hint of nuttiness is just starting to come in at the tail end of the first third, but I'm just getting into it, so we'll see how it progresses. The draw is a little bit tighter than I prefer, but it's not too tight. Um, I like it just a little bit looser of a draw, but it's not bad whatsoever. So the burn's doing well, the draw, I would say this is probably at a mild plus right now in terms of strength. So we'll see how it progresses as the cigar continues, but I'm gonna jump into the second third. Let's see how it goes as I continue down the journey of 25 years of cigar making. All right, there's where the burn is at the end of the second third. Little bit of a wave to it, but overall not doing too shabby, still staying pretty straight. It did get a little bit off, but it corrected itself and did really well. So flavor notes in the second third, that butter cracker is still there, very creamy. There's a nuttiness that came in, which is really nice because everybody knows if you watch me for any amount of time, I love a good nutty flavor note in a cigar. 
but buttery creaminess, just smooth cigar with that nutty note that's in there. And there's a little bit of a light grassy hay that's in there as well. There's a baking spice that's in there that I can't quite put my finger on, maybe more of a nutmeg. It's not a cinnamon spice, nothing like that at all. There's a little bit of a, a, a white pepper kind of um, spice, but I don't even know that I want to call it spice because it's not spicy. There's just a little bit of a white pepper kind of note on the tip of my tongue, along with that tang that you would get from a Corojo. It's not tangy like you would get um, <clears throat> from a Candela wrapper, but there is that Corojo um, trademark signature tang that is in there from the binder uh, that is an FSG Corojo uh, binder that's on this cigar. So it's done really well. The draw has loosened up a little bit more. It's getting really close to where I like the draw for my cigars. So it's it's getting even better as the cigar progresses. Smoke output is doing really well. It's a, a good creamy smoke output. It's not tons of smoke, but it's a good creamy smoke output. It's not very, it's not super thin. And so that's what's gone on in the second third of the cigar. I'll come back at the end of the cigar, let you know my final thoughts on it, let you know uh, whether I think it's noteworthy or not. But until then, I'm going to finish up this cigar and see what the final third of 25 years of cigar making in the industry with one of the most well-known uh, master blenders, Omar Ortiz, from the absolutely famous J.C. Newman cigars, um, how it wraps up and, and what it's like. So here's the final third. All right, wrapping up this review. That's where the burn is at right there. Stayed relatively straight, got a little bit of a way there to it, but overall not bad. Flavor notes in the final third. They developed and got uh, dessert-like almost. So the creaminess is still there. The the nuttiness has, has tapered down a little bit, but there's a vanilla note in there, which is really good. The, the last few draws on the cigar have been um, almost like if you were to take, I mean, like a, a creme brulee in the top and you, and you take the torch, you know, you burn it and you caramelize it a little bit, that sort of caramelized vanilla sweetness that's there, that's got a little bit of the depth to it. That's what this final third in the cigar has been like. And it's been really good. The woodiness is completely gone. It is just a very light, creamy, sweet, vanilla, dessert-like cigar as it's wrapping up. The draw finally got to the perfect sweet spot for me in the final third. It opened up even more and it didn't get squishy hot. It didn't, you know, get anything that, you know, heat up or anything like that at all. It's done really well. So what do I think overall of this Corona Cigar Shade for their 25th anniversary release? Do I think it's nubworthy? I do. I think it's nubworthy because it is... It is a cigar that is right up my wheelhouse. The creamy notes, the, the toasted cracker, the butter cracker note that's in there, transitioning with the light wood and getting all the way to the point where it's dessert-like with the sweet sort of caramelized vanilla sugary sweetness that's in there. It's not sugary like a dessert, but it's got that caramelized sugar flavor note in there uh, with a toasted nut, and it is really, really good. I've enjoyed it. So I want to say thank you to Cigar Prop, my good brother, for sending this out my way, letting me check it out. Uh, and Jeff, this is a really good cigar. The darker stuff from FSG, from Corona Cigars, I haven't been a huge fan of, but this one is right up my alley and I have enjoyed it quite a bit. So well done, great cigar. And thank you, Kevin, for sending it out my way again. So if you've had this cigar, if you've checked it out, it was relatively new in its release. If you've checked it out at all or any of the other ones, whether it's the Habano or it is the Maduro, leave some comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on them. Do you typically like FSG cigars? Do you typically not like them? Are they for you? Are they not? How do they fit into your palate? Let's continue the conversation down below in the comments. <clears throat> but those have been my thoughts on this Corona Cigars 25th anniversary shade. It has been really good. So if you have a chance to go and get it, I highly recommend you go to coronacigar.com, check it out, pick up a box, pick up, you know, a five pack, whatever they've got available, check it out and, uh, well, experience it for yourself along your cigar journey. So that's going to do it for this review. I appreciate everybody tuning in, but as I say every single time, enjoy your cigar journey. I'm Cigar Show Tim, as always, I'll see you.